Hi everyone, James Yang here, and today we're diving into an important question. Should you expedite your non-provisional patent application? The average wait time for a patent application to be examined is nearly two years. But what if you could cut that wait time down to four to six months? Sounds tempting, right? Let's explore when it makes sense to expedite and when you might want to hold off. According to the USPTO, the average processing time for a non-provisional patent application is 19.7 months. That's almost two years of waiting before you know whether your patent will be granted. But did you know you can expedite the process for a fee? By choosing to expedite, you could receive a decision in just four to six months, saving over a year of waiting. So when do you have to decide to expedite or not? The catch is you need to make this decision at the time you file your non-provisional application. You must submit both the fee and the expedite request on the same day you file your application. You can't decide to expedite later. If you do change your mind and decide to expedite your application later, after the filing of your initial application, the process gets much more expensive. You'd have to file a continuation application, pay the expedite fee, and submit the required forms. This means you end up with two pending applications, which increases costs and complexity. My recommendation, unless you have a compelling reason to expedite, it's often better to hold off. Save your money and invest in marketing or manufacturing. It's usually not worth the extra cost unless there's a specific need. Now there are scenarios where expediting makes sense. Here are a few key situations to consider. Investor requirements. If potential investors require a granted patent before committing to funding, expediting might be necessary. A patent in hand can be a game changer for securing investments. Competitive pressure. If your competitors have a track record of copying your ideas, expediting can help you protect your intellectual property faster, giving you legal grounds to stop them. Risk of investment. Some people are not willing to invest further in their business without a patent. Expediting might give you the security you need to move forward without handing competitors a roadmap to your ideas. Fear of idea theft. While the risk of idea theft is often overestimated, expediting could still be a strategy if you feel exposed. But remember, a comprehensive initial application already secures your priority date. Ultimately, the decision to expedite should be based on your business needs, budget, and strategy. Ask yourself, do I have a compelling reason? Can I afford it? Will it give me the advantage I need right now? If you need help thinking through these issues, give me a call. Thanks for watching and if you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insights into patents and intellectual property strategies. See you next time.